Hi, my name is Martin Perhiniak. Welcome back to the PSD Touch Plus Digital Art Series. In this episode, I'm going to show you a quick way to draw hair. There are basically a couple of tools that we need to use when we want to draw hair. First of all, it's the brush tool. And if you use Photoshop CS5, then definitely the mixer brush tool. Mixer brush tool can be replaced with the smudge tool in previous editions of Photoshop. But I highly recommend to use mixer brush tool if you have Photoshop CS5 available. First of all, let me show you uh, what we need to do. So with the brush tool, you pick a color. In this case, I pick a brown color and I just draw a block of colors here on the right and then from this I just simply extract details with the mixer brush tool so I select the mixer brush tool and I start drawing over it like this now to be able to set up uh, the mixer brush tool the way I'm using it you have to do a couple of things. First of all, you need to create a custom brush like the brush that I'm using. This is something that I talked about in previous uh, episodes. So you can visit those uh, how to set up brushes episodes. But I just show you the brush itself looks like um, lots of little dots next to each other. So if I select that brush that I saved for uh, drawing hair, it looks like this. So this is what I saved as a custom brush. And you have to make sure that when you use this brush with the mixer brush tool, you set the spacing to 0% or 1%. So the minimal, minimal value. So let me just go back to the mixer brush tool. And let me show you under the brush settings in the brush tip shape options, the spacing is set to 1%. That makes it smooth and continuous. So you have to leave it on the minimum value, 1%. And then also here on the top, you have to turn off this option, the first option called load the brush after each stroke. So uh, turn that off. And then you will probably see a transparent uh, swatch here on the uh, control bar. Also choose very wet heavy mix option. Uh, or set of options for the mixer brush tool here on the top and I use sample all layers option turned on and I also use uh, the pressure sensitivity to control the size uh, and the intensity of the mixer brush tool so once you have all these options set up you can just simply uh, work on the details of the hair by extracting the details I just drag and it's like combing the hair or growing hair. Draw over it several times. So basically that's all what we need to know. And now it's time to do the whole uh, example here on the left. So we'll start from scratch and you will see all the steps that I did. So let's get started. First of all, I simply just use the brush tool and draw the base color. And in this case, I use this grayish brownish color. And once I have the base, I switch to the mixer brush tool. And using that custom brush that we were talking about, I'm starting to extract these hair lines. And I try to give it a flow. Um, so I'm, I'm doing it in one direction. If I do it the other way, you can see now I'm doing the other way. I put some more white details into it that's also the reverse is also a useful uh, way of using the mixer brush tool and then I go over it again it gives a bit more volume if you do it both directions so you can see we already have quite nice details and uh, on the edge I'm doing to change I'm going to change the color now and I'm using a brighter color and I draw over the hair and then I switch back again to the mixer brush tool and I mix the base color together with this uh, color on top this is uh, sort of the highlight for the hair but I'm going to use more colors because it's not enough to use only two colors so um, I just start to 
mix them together with the same technique going from the bottom and from the top and uh, trying to uh, define the shape of the hair now I'm going to use again another color so I'm going to draw over the detail but first I just draw again with the mixer brush tool but uh, with a larger brush size and yeah, now I'm going to draw over with a different color and I use 30% opacity just to add this a uh, uh, bit more orange color on top of the hair and now I'm mixing all these colors together I'm using the dodge tool and the uh, so sorry in this case the burn tool to darken some parts of the hair especially on the bottom and on the top close to the highlights so now I have a, a nice variation in colors so I can now blend all these together using the mixer brush tool and uh, you can see it start to be more realistic now that we have different colors similar but at the same time uh, an enough variation of the colors so we have brighter darker colors and also the hue is ver varied a bit uh, most of the times if you only use one uh, color and just change the br brightness of that color that won't be enough uh, to get a realistic effect so it's always better to use uh, a bit of variation in the hue and the saturation as well and once again I used the burn tool just to make it darker the details darker and I used the brush and I just add a couple of more uh, lines in this case black or very dark brown lines again this is more to define the volume of the hair these are the shadows on the hair and I add also highlights on top of the details that I already have I add even more brighter highlights and now I switch back again to the mixer brush tool and I mix all these colors together again so it's several times I go over uh, the hair and I build on top of the original details and I use these new color details to blend them into the volume the whole uh, hair detail that we already have and you can see now we start to have a really nice variation especially on the top you can see that we have strands of hair and we have shadows, highlights so it start to look really nice this is roughly a 10 minute sketch and you can imagine if you use the same technique on a portrait you can quickly uh, get to a nice result I'm adding a bit more contrast to it with the levels so I uh, just to give it a bit more punch in the colors so now you can see I continue after changing the levels or using the levels adjustments I still use the mixer brush tool and then I also still use the mixer brush tool but change uh, a bit to a bigger brush size and uh, draw a couple of more details here on the left a bit make it a bit more random with the brush tool and then use the mixer brush tool to mix it together first just to blur it out and then I'm going to switch to the original mixer brush tool or custom brush and I add the hair detail there as well on the side and from this point on the way you create new hair is up to you how you want to do it you can use the mixer brush tool and use the colors that you already have just extend it and drag it out from the from the original block and that's what I'm doing in this case and uh, once I have another block I can always go over it with the other shape with the other custom shape that we created so that one I'm adding more detail to it now 
to that new strand that we just created here on the right. So basically that was the same thing what we started with, but I just wanted to show you again how to uh, do, the, do it. And I'm now using the brush tool and I'm just drawing a very thin line, darker colors, over uh, the edges and I'm going to draw over the middle part as well. This gives, uh, gives a bit more variation uh, to the hair and make, makes it a bit even more realistic. So you can add these details and then again go over it with the mixer brush tool just to blend it together. On the, on the edges you don't necessarily need to go over it because then you lose the detail as you can see. You can leave it on the edge and just go over in the middle. So basically that's all what you need to know about drawing hair and obviously just like with everything else in Photoshop it's all about practice. So make sure you start to use these techniques and uh, practice them and try to use different colors, uh, try to draw dif different shapes of hair and you don't have to draw a hair on a portrait for the first time try to just practice uh, on white background as I did it here without any uh, head or face just draw it on its own and once you get used to it then you can start uh, drawing the portrait and on the portrait you can draw uh, with the same technique the hair so thanks a lot for your attention. I hope you enjoyed this episode as well. Next time we will also uh, talk about another specific technique. Uh, so make sure that you join me next time. And thanks a lot for your attention.